All right, so we've got another one here to repair. Um, this one, a pretty typical issue that these common ECUs have. Uh, this one, customer actually tried to repair it himself. He watching uh, my video and another gentleman's on YouTube, I guess, does repairs as well. And uh, had a little bit of issue, which is not surprising. These ECUs, they're not easy for first timers they, they require a lot of heat uh, once you you know learn how to do them they're not too bad but uh, at first it's you know it's pretty bad um, so I'm guessing they replace the TVS diode already uh, looks like they had issues getting heat to it because the solder is pretty uh, you know blobbed up so that's typical low heat and here where the trace uh, you know cracked open I see they tried to repair that with a glob of solder as well but that looks like it's shorted because there's some capacitors there and it looks like the solder got spread over the capacitor so that's probably the only issue so if we take a look here between uh, ground and the battery input there we'll see that it is indeed shorted eh, should be easy to fix so let's clean up all this first I'm, I'm going to take this off of here just clean up everything so I'm just going to use some solder wick and some flux there this this should be pretty pretty straightforward to clean this up and get it get it fixed okay I'm using a pretty big tip here and a Metcal CV 5200 which they they can put out some pretty good power so I, I believe I sucked up the capacitors nope no capacitors there I, I it looks like they got knocked off maybe not really a big deal that they're not there they're just you know filtering capacitors here where the, the battery voltage comes in but it's got plenty of them they're, they're not really needed all right so now the spot we actually want to fix is the PCB here which goes from this spot which is the power and then it goes to this uh, you know plane here which is also uh, power and when these blow up and the TVS diodes go bad they, they split this open and that's why it's no power you know getting to getting to the board it's just coming in halfway uh, actually I don't think it's coming in at all actually because this comes in here and then it, it powers this and then it powers up everything so you're missing most of it okay now this one is going to be a little bit harder to clean up because there's so much thermal mass here that I'm actually I'm going to use hot air and my soldering iron here because there's a lot of solder globbed up and we don't quite need that much. Okay, so I'm just going to knock that out the way. And I accidentally got this stuck to the ground plane, which is connected to the case. Okay, it's up now. There's a little thing right here. And I think it's some kind of weld from the PCB to the case because it's not like a normal joint. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit more cleaning here. My wick is kind of messed up. Okay. Oh, man. So this one, the customer actually, oh, that's not good. I've never seen, I've never seen that before. 
the customer actually ripped up the pad for the TVS dial. Mm. So if we look here under the microscope, we'll see. It looks like they cut it out because it, it's pretty clean. All right, so now we can really see what's going on here. And you can see it was cut out. I'm not sure if they cut it out because they couldn't unsolder it, so they thought they could just cut it and, you know, then desolder this piece. I'm going to guess that's what happened. Or maybe they were prying and it just ripped up, so then they cut it. Uh, it's it's easy to fix though, and there's nothing underneath of this. It's just, you know, it's all uh, another ground plane under it. So I think it will be okay. What I might do is I might scrape this, and I'll just lay the TVS diode this way, because this is the same ground plane here, and then this is power. I actually could lay it this way, and it's the same thing. So maybe we'll do that. Let me let me clean it up a little bit first. Okay, and let's scrape away, that way we can bridge this and lay the TVS diode all in one, uh, all in one move. This will probably be harder, harder to solder to though. Because these have uh, all the thermal relief vias going down to the next layer. So we'll, we'll get it. Just want to make sure I clean it good so we have a good connection. And you know, I could use a different package as well, different type. I mean, it's, it's not a huge deal. But. I think that this will work fine. I'm going to put down some flux here. Put down a little too much. My syringe there is starting to go bad, I guess. Man, that's some smoky flux, isn't it? All right, so before we put it on, let's check it here to make sure that it is still good. Okay, and I'm going to have to clean it up as well still. Okay, so I'm going to switch to dial mode here for this. Yeah, and it's good. All right, now make sure we don't still have a short between these two. We do not. Okay, and just to show that there's nothing <clears throat> under there, we see the uh, TVS diode here, and if we flip it around, you'll see that the only uh, plane is just another ground plane, and this ground plane will still be connected, you know, elsewhere, so it's not a big deal that it's cut out. So I'm going to wick away. A little bit of what's left on here. Just to clean this up, and I'm going to reuse this one. A lot of solder. A lot of solder. Too much. That makes it uh, even harder to solder when you have that much. All right, so I'm going to use a different type of flux here, one that's not so smoky. I'm going to take this guy and put him back right here, just like that. Okay. Can't see very well, so we're going to get under the microscope.
Okay, now I can tell by the way it's sliding around that it has a really good connection. Okay, so I'm going to leave that like that now because I know the back spot is good. And I'm going to just add some more solder for the front. I'm not too happy with the front. But I can tell that the back is on there really good. And this I'm just going to add a ton here. You know, to help fix that crack that was there. And, you know, the good news is this is fixed. And it will not happen again. Because now if the TVS diode blows out, it's just going to be a pure short. There's no way that this is going to, you know, split open again. I guess it could do it right here. But uh, it, it probably won't. It will probably be more like the uh, 06 ones where that part doesn't go bad just the TVS dio shorts out and then it blows fuses you know in your truck which is good but yeah not too bad look look worse than it was I'm gonna try to clean this up and I'm gonna put some conformal coating all over this okay and then we're going to test it just to make sure it still works. So this is my conformal coating. Oh, that's some kind of silicone conformal coating uh, from MG Chemical. This is pretty good. They have an acrylic one that's okay too, but the acry acrylic one gets kind of hard. And if you have to do any rework, it's kind of a pain. You kind of got to crack it and bust it away. This one stays kind of soft. And uh, you can actually do rework through it without without too much trouble all right that is done now I just want to uh, connect real quick and we're just gonna see if it works I have a mess of wires here you have to excuse me As long as I got my connections hooked up right too, I might have those wrong. Nope, there it goes. It's gonna go because my uh, pass through stopped clicking. Yep, there it is. That's connected. Now I'll show you just by reading codes here. So uh, based on what had happened to this one, I, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else wrong with it. Uh, but I will put it back together. I gotta seal it up. I gotta. You know, put silicone all the way around it. Put the, uh, I don't know what you would call that st structural plate, I guess. I'm not sure. The f inner frame. And then seal up the other side and tighten it up. And then I will probably give it one final test uh, once I'm done. And just go through some of the basic functions to see if it's okay. But uh, for now, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with it. And customer almost had it. I'm just uh, I'm not I'm not familiar with the other guy's video. I, I I know the name, but I'm not familiar with the video where he worked on one of these. But if he cut that out, that's not a good way to do it. Or you know, just breaking it off. That's not a good way. You just you just have to take it off. You just need pretty high heat to do it. Uh, either preheat the whole thing, and then use your iron. Personally, I use hot air and iron, uh, but yeah, almost. <laughs>